Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the first episode of Dropping Giants, where I equip you to drop giants. <laughs> so basically, what I'm gonna do through these videos, it's gonna be like a series, I guess, kind of thing. But I'm gonna be showing you how you can equip yourself and go out there, you know, and be able to evangelize people. So this is gonna be the first video I do. So yeah. So the this is gonna be the track we're gonna show you today. And this is a track I actually came up with. It's, um, I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but, uh, yeah. So it basically says love in braille here, right? And then I wrote love on the back with a marker. So what you do is, and there will be a video on how to make one of these, um, down in the description below. So you can go ahead, check out, link out, and make some for yourself. Or even some friends, you know, maybe in a Bible study group or some of your youth or whatever, stuff like that, you know? And it's a really fun way, so you, what you basically do, and um, just so you know, there's a million ways of doing this, but this is a couple ways you can do it. So you can approach a person, and let's say they're sighted, right? Because it has braille on it, so let's say they're sighted, like they have sight. Well, you go up to them and be like, hey, guess what, man? You want to try something out? Like, check this out. And you hand them the card, right? And you're like, close your eyes. Obviously, they have to close their eyes before you hand them the card. So they close their eyes, and you're like, okay, feel around the card. And you're going to make them feel around the card where there's braille. And now you're going to ask them, what do you feel? And they're going to be like, um, I feel like dots. Oh, yeah, like, you know, like, there's something there. Is it like braille? Like, is that like for blind people or something? Okay. What do you think it says? Just try to guess what it says, right? And you could give them hints like it's a four letter word, or it starts with L, or it ends with the letter E, you know, something that's kind of hard but not too hard. And then you're gonna be like, okay, now give me the card, keep your eyes closed, and you're gonna switch it on them. Basically, you're gonna flip the card around, and you're gonna make them feel around. And they're gonna, and you're gonna ask them, what do you feel now? And they're gonna be like, uh, I don't feel anything, because obviously there's no braille back here, right? So they're not gonna really feel anything. So then what you're going to tell them is you're going to be like, open your eyes. And when they open their eyes, they're going to see these, this big word in bold letters that says love, right? And you can tell them, isn't it funny how sometimes what's there, for example, like the side in braille, right? You can feel it, but you don't know what it is. And on the other side, it's there. I mean, it's written in bold letters. It's so obvious, but because you can't feel it, you can't describe it, right? Well, God's love, a lot of times we feel it, but we don't know what it is because no one ever has told us what it is. And it's hard for us to describe, like the braille letters, we describe it as dots, you know? Or we might even describe it as bumps, but we don't know what it is. And this side, you know, we don't feel anything, but it's so obvious it's there. But because we're so blind to it, we don't know what's there. Now, let's say you have a blind friend. You can actually use the same card to evangelize a blind friend. What you do is you go up to the person, right? But this time, you're going to flip it. You're going to show them the ink side first, right? The side that's written. You're going to show it to them. You're going to give it to them and be like, hey, feel around, man. Do you feel anything on there? They're gonna be like, no, they might feel the back side of Braille, but they're not gonna feel the front side, right? So they're not gonna know what it says, no matter how much they feel around. And then you flip it on them, and then you're gonna be like, feel around now. And it's gonna say love on it in Braille, and obviously they can read this side, right? Because they're blind. And then you're gonna be like, isn't it funny how a lot of times we feel something, but we don't know it's there. And not necessarily because we're blind physically, but we're blind spiritually, so we don't know what's actually in the room. Like, we feel it, right? But we don't know what's there. Did you know you don't have to be sighted to feel God's love? Just like you don't have to be blind to know love is there, right? Like in Braille. So, you know, I just wanted to ch show you guys this. I hope you guys check it out. Try it out. Let me know if it works in the comments below or send me a message. And, um, by the way, what you can also do on these cards, make sure that you guys put your name on it. Like if they're cited, put your name in ink, put your phone number on there, maybe your leader's phone number, or maybe your pastor's phone number, your youth coordinator, whatever it is, you know? And, um, or even your email, maybe your Facebook. And if you, um, 
you know, like, if you have a blind friend, you could still write it in ink and they could obviously have someone read it for them, maybe their parents or their friends or whatever like that. Or you could even email it to them. Or, like, you know, your contact information. Or, if you do have access to a Braille machine, which I'll be showing down below, um, in the video, it's like, you can put your contact information in Braille for that person that doesn't have sight. So this is a way for you to reach out to people, not only that are sighted, but that are also not sighted, that are visually impaired. You know, I really hope you guys use this. It's really good. And I feel like everybody deserves to know about the gospel. So, hope this is a blessing for you guys. May the Lord bless you very much. Take care. And make sure to equip yourself and drop giants, guys. Take care. God bless you.